Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I am so excited to share with you all a quick flip through, talk through of my 29th week of my Hobonichi weeks for 2023. So if you're interested in hearing about what I've been up to, how I use some of my most recent stickers and washi tape from Simply Gilded to set up this 29th week, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into this video, I did want to take one quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, I very much appreciate your engagement. So if you enjoy the content of this video, I would very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving it a thumbs up and of course, making sure you're subscribed. Alrighty friends, so I actually just thought that I filmed a plan with me of this spread. So I do apologize that it got deleted. <laughs> so here I am on the back end trying to recover <laughs> the footage. And so basically, as I mentioned, I found inspiration from my most recent subscription box from Simply Gilded, which actually reminds me that I need to cancel all of my subscriptions because I'm moving. And that one is was definitely not on my list. I know that sticky club is super simple to cancel or put on pause um, when it comes to simply gilded i really actually don't remember how that process works so i will have to put that on my to-do list for the week so thank you for the reminder um, but basically i've been feeling incredibly blessed for all of the amazing opportunities that my husband and i have been just so grateful for and so you'll see that i kind of journaled about that up here i have this little gratitude sticker that i journaled about um, how grateful i was were the amazing support of our family and friends and so that's in that box <laughs> i also took the opportunity to use some of my very favorite ferris wheel press ink um, from actually previous months so this is the glistening glass i felt that it went really well with the blue tones that were on this page already um, it's not the most recent one from the recent months but it was what went with my theme um, i do want to share that with you all and i do have a discount code for that so definitely check that out i'll leave a link in the description box down below as always uh, for 10% I think off your next order from Ferris Wheel Press um, but also any products that I guess I use when it comes to pens and things I will also have in my Amazon storefront in the description box down below. So for this month Ferris Wheel Press released the Hampton Harbor Sage which I've been absolutely loving and this Scarlet or Song of Scarlet this like red color it looks kind of like a hot pink but when you start writing with it it's much more I would say a like deep red it like, kind of reminds me of blood uh, but I really love it it's just like this intense red um, so it, those two colors obviously didn't really go with this spread and that's why I ended up using glistening glass from previous months and I absolutely love it I actually want to give you a close-up because you can kind of see the sheen and shimmer uh, more so on the top half which I think is part of the beauty of this ink and the excitement of using it at least for me i'm trying not to touch it but i really want to touch it because it just it has so much depth to um i feel like the ink and i also just used my kaki mori dip pen with i think it was the steel nib that i absolutely love um but anyways enough of the ink uh <laughs> going back i the first thing i did was actually use my Raymay ruler my go-to Raymay ruler to kind of line up against these little dots here that the hobonichi weeks has are like already um printed on the page lining up my Raymay ruler using this grid i love that it's just clear has this very simple solid grid lines um to create like a dual vertical line to kind of create space um, simply and quickly for checkboxes. So you'll see here, what I like to do, I used to be really, really particular about using my Hobonichi writing board anytime I wrote in this planner. And I've kind of like reined it in a little bit and ditched the writing board because it's actually quite cumbersome when you're on travel to have like all these little clips, which I also got on Amazon and love. Um, I still use these to kind of hold the page down. I think they're really aesthetic. I love that they're coated in black, not just for the aesthetic, but also because it doesn't make my hands smell like metal, like the traveler's notebook or the traveler's company um clip does so i now now my hand smells from touching the travelers on um but yeah so i i do like to bring these clips regardless it's also great as a page marker as well um but anyways i it is rare i would say that i get 
to it's and it's not even like I don't get to use the stickers from Simply Gilded it's just that a lot of times I like to use my happy planner stickers but definitely my sticky club subscription stickers in here as you can see this little pusheen here or this academia set that honestly went to waste this was my absolute favorite where I got to pair some of my favorites from Simply Gilded and the sticky club so if I get to replicate that again um Yes, I would be very happy. Here are some of my Katie Daisy stickers. So it's not very often that I get to draw inspiration solely from my Simply Gilded stickers. And so really, really um, blessed. <laughs> I feel blessed for that opportunity. I do really like to use Simply Gilded, actually, their sticker sets in my Hobonichi A6 English Techo Planner because I feel like these larger block stickers fit the... the layout of those planners better um so anyways <laughs> this a little little thought blob there <laughs> thought vomit um so yeah really really enjoyed using it i love these stickers i really struggle with like these icon stickers or these um number stickers here i never get it like the opportunity to use all of them i don't know what it is i played around with using some of these bow like their signature bow icon stickers to mark the days i'd be in the office and really really enjoyed the opportunity um because i happen to be able to find my sharpie pen here this is the only one that i have found to work well on um, these permanent markers on these stickers for writing and i think it serves its purpose of kind of highlighting the major appointments in the week so i have a doctor's appointment on wednesday at 5 30 i had an interview today at 11 30 um and i have some homework here so i a trick that i shared during the plan with media that uh, didn't come to fruition <laughs> was um i love 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 this hobonichi basic stencil i actually got a lot of them off amazon um it's one of my favorite tools they're so easy to travel with i can just shove it into my um my cover here as you can see it just fits really well if you don't have a cover like this which by the way someone had recently asked me about and i'm sorry i haven't gotten back to you i got this cover on etsy from a seller i think her handle is sakura handcraft um and so it was shipped i think from somewhere in asia and i'm really really happy with it and it actually came with a clear cover which is fantastic because this is a very soft fabric cover that is going to get so dirty i've actually taken it off because i like to feel the feeling of the fabric and then also because it glares when i film these videos so for you guys i've taken off my cover <laughs> Um, but anyway, so the trick that I wanted to share is that I actually like to use this blob here, this like quotation or some sort of box as a straight edge for my highlighters. So I don't like to use these other edges here because although I often clean them using wet ones, uh, wet wipes, I, if you can, I don't know if you can see this here, there's like black markers because I use it as a straight edge for basically all of my writing. It gets black ink on it and then so if I were to use it as a straight edge it would stain my highlighter. So just a little trick there because I never actually write against these edges and if it's just perfectly as you can see here on this left column and just gives me just enough room to just create a little highlight and then I go back in with maybe my Tombow Fude pen, the hard tip. Uh, recently I've been loving the Sarasa Markons in 0.4 and 0.5 which I also picked up off Amazon all of these and um i will say with these pens i find that they kind of glide really smoothly over the mild liner um, highlighters and so i think i prefer actually to use either my pigma micron i think in this case i use this micron in zero one um, versus the fude because this fude i've used it so much that it's dulled out a lot so i just kind of show you what that looks like here you can't really tell <laughs> um as opposed to this guy here which you can kind of tell oh wow the footage is actually a lot sharper so <laughs> i've been uh receiving a lot of comments and i really do appreciate the encouragement uh, but basically i found a different way to upload my videos so hopefully if you guys are enjoying this extra hd <laughs> maybe you can finally see also some of my journaling as well but anyways friends that's basically it um the other basic other thing that I did here was use some of my sticky club notepads here to kind of fill this space and create a party task list for the week. 
sorry for the little fuzzy and then over here because I had some overlap with this appointment sticker for my doctor's appointment um, I just created a top goals list for maybe these two or if not three days since I'll be going into the office anyway at the end of the day I want to stay focused on getting the most important things done which is packing and cleaning for our move and so anyways friends thank you so much for taking the time to join me and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone.